YouTube, this is Spy vs. SpyFan95 here, and today, before I get started, I got a question for you guys. I'm changing my YouTube username, Spy vs. SpyFan95 is getting old for me. And now, I want you guys, that's right, you guys, to s uh, what's the word? suggest me some names. I prefer either Nintendo or Xbox related names. No joking around, I'm being serious. If I pick your name, you can send me, or if I pick your name, I will message you, and you can either send me a request on a iPod Touch jailbroken or hack uh, tutorial, or I can give you a computer, like, hacking emulator tutorial, whichever one you choose, it can be about anything that I might know about, so... If you message me about something and I don't know about it, I will be sure to tell you I don't know, and I'll have to give you another option. But anyway, I'll do my best mic that I can to make sure I can fulfill your requests for a tutorial. Anyway, continuing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use an Xbox 360 controller on your computer to play on Project 64, which is a Nintendo 64 emulator. If you don't know what an emulator is, I will make a separate video talking all about emulators and how to get them and ROMs and everything else like that. Anyway, to use to what you need for this experiment, you're going to need first of all definitely a computer. It doesn't really matter XP Vista or seven Windows seven. It doesn't really matter. I think it can be a Mac. I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen anyone do this on a Mac, so. If it can be done on a Mac, and you know that, please tell me in the comments and I will be sure to thank you. But, what you're going to need is, you're going to go to, uh, you're going to take your Xbox 360 controller, take it by the USB port, and just pop it in there. Now yours won't connect like mine does. Yours will pop up saying it's found new hardware. Now, in the description, there is a link to a website from Microsoft that I want you to go to. I'm not going to say because it it's way too long to read, but it will be in the description that I will provide for you down below. Now, when you get to the screen, it's going to ask you four simple questions. It's going to ask your type of product. You want to go to controller. It's going to say select your product. Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Select your operating system. Mine would be Windows 7 32-bit only. Yours could be Windows 7 64-bit. Yours could be Windows Vista 34 or 62-bit. Uh, Windows XP 64 or 32-bit. It depends on what kind of computer you have. Now for me, I'd click Windows 7. And it'll say, ask your, it'll ask for you for your operating system language. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you're most likely going to click English. After that, you click Go. It's going to take you to this little link. It'll say, here's the software available for your product. Follow the link to download it. Now, I already have it downloaded, but you click the link. The screen will pop up. You want to click Run. Let it download, and then click Run again. It'll download for you. You want to make it run, and when it pops up, it'll be asking about your controller and stuff. Now, once you install everything... I'll have to uh, download it again for you just to show you what screen will pop up. It won't take long. I'll just pause the video. Anyway, see, it's going pretty smooth. Shouldn't take too long. Come on, download faster. I don't have a lot of recording time. And sorry for the bad picture quality. I am recording this on my phone, which, in case you guys are nosy, it is a... Motorola Rocker C6M, I think. One of the not new, but not old models. There's a lot of skins and hackings for this one, but of course I spent three hours trying to do it, and it didn't really work out. Anyway, I'm just trying to have a conversation while this downloads. Um, hmm. I got another question for you guys, too. If you have a dog, or if you don't have a dog, 
If you do have a dog, I want you to put what kind of dog you have in the comments. If you don't have a dog, you can still feel free to message me in the comments saying what kind of dog you like. It's a random question, I know, but I'm bored and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Anyway, just let that download. seconds left. Once it downloads, you'll click run. This will close out. This little thing will pop up. It says extracting files. If you have Windows 7, the screen will pop up. It's fine. There's no viruses on it. It's from Microsoft. Click yes. It'll only pop up if you have it for um, uh, if you only have it for Windows 7. Okay, I've already downloaded it, so the little the screen won't pop up again. But a little red screen will pop up, and you want to click uh, "I accept these uh, terms of use" or something. You're going to click next, and it's going to install a couple things. It might take a minute or two. Once it installs, you're going to click finish. I think I'm pretty sure that's what it says. And then your controller should be ready. Now, once you have that, you're just going to exit out of the internet. Make sure your Xbox 360 controller is plugged up, and to test it, see, the light should be on if you did it correctly. It's plugged up to the computer. To show you that it is connected, if you push the home button on there, this little emblem will pop up on your computer. I don't know how to change it. Some people have it to where it says something right there, like the name of the controller. I don't know how to do that, but this does tell you that you're controller is synced to your computer. Okay. Now once you have that, oh, here comes the fun part. You're going to want to open up your emulators. 